So um, as you can see, I've got all my stuff out. And uh, I've heard um, a, a couple of different ideas on how to make bread. And um, I'll be honest with you, um, I, I almost went tears this week. <sighs> Lord help me. Um, we ran out of bread. It wasn't the end of the world. But, um, you know, our bread supply was getting low. And so uh, I went to the store looking for bread like the rest of us. And, uh, yeah, it was scary. So, um, I do have um, a packet of yeast that I had from uh, before, and uh, I don't want to use it yet because it's all I have, and I cannot find yeast without ordering it online, and right now there is no backup. So, I did a little research. So, um, I've made this before, and it's with beer because beer has yeast in it. And um, I've used it off of a couple of celebrity websites. Um, there was the Ramsey website was the one that I liked the best. And um, his has, it's a, more like a roll, but it turned out to be a nice, uh, a nice texture of bread. So um, what I did was, is uh, I talked to a few people that are bakers and bread makers and, you know, some of the, some of the older people and they told me to use my regular ingredients as making bread, but um, just to add uh, the beer as the substitute for the yeast. So that's what I'm going to start with today. And then I've got a couple different other ideas um, without using a, a beer, uh, just using with a regular self-rising um, flour. So uh, of course I've got the self-rising flour. I found that. Um, I did find the um, there was uh, this this was a uh, whole wheat flour, and I did find that, and I'll use that in a little bit too. But I did have before, um, which we all keep some regular white flour, all purpose on hand, and that's what I'm gonna start with. And then um, I have salt. I have um, on hand. I have baking powder, baking soda. Um, I have. Uh, let's see what else do I need. Oil. I need oil. And uh, I did not have buttermilk, but I did have milk. And so uh, I was going to keep that on the side too because there's a couple recipes that you can use milk and it calls for buttermilk. So if you convert a little bit of vinegar, if you have some vinegar, you can convert your regular milk into buttermilk. It just takes like a tablespoon or something to a cup. And you can Google it and research it. It's really easy. Okay, so the first recipe I'm going to start with is going to be the um, regular basic white bread. And this is the conversion that I was going to use, what the girlfriend told me, and she said to just use um, my yeast uh, from my beer. And so what I did was is I, I got some beer and um, just one can, and I, and I made sure it was room temperature, but this one I heated up a little bit on 30, 30 seconds or so, just so that it's, you're supposed to have warm, a warm liquid with your flour when you're doing bread. So um, first I'm going to start with uh, my flour. And this is going to call for six cups of all-purpose flour. And I just have my regular all-purpose flour that I had. I didn't have to go shopping for it because I had it. Sugar. And this is the fifth one. Five and then six. And I'm not packing it. I don't want to pack. I want it light. And that's six. And as you can see, this is going to make two loaves. And that was a half. That was a whole bag in here. So now it's a half the bag I have left. So just remember. Um, when you're making bread, it's going to use a lot of your flour. So if you've got plans work for other things, you know, we're trying to make things spread, so be careful. Okay, so I've got six cups of flour in here, and then now I'm going to start with, um, uh, I'm going to just make sure all my dry ingredients are in here. So I need two-thirds cups of white sugar. This is the third cup I have, so I'm going to use two. So this is two thirds. And 
And then I've already got the um, the beer set aside, so that's going to take in compensation for the yeast. And then I've got, I need to add a little salt. It calls about for one and a half. It says you can use oil or butter. Yeah. I'm going to mix all my dried together. And I need, how much oil do I need? I need a fourth cup of oil. And I just have no oil right now, I guess that's all I'm using. And then you have butter, you can use it just as they melt it. And I'll share my recipe um, when I get done that I'm going by. And I'll put it on the, on the link. Alright, I'm just going to pour it in here like it says to. Try on the air. Okay, so we're going to mix that in and then I'm going to start mixing in the beer. And there will be no alcohol content left in this. Um, alcohol puts out when you put it in a Consistent heat, and it doesn't stay. There's no residual of alcohol. In order to finish, finish folding it in. And so just to knead the, knead the dough. And I just used one can of beer. I didn't use two, I just used one. And that's what it called for. For liquids, it was two cups of water. Okay. And then I'm going to let this rest. And I'm going to cover it and put it on the stove. And the stove is already preheating. 
So this is going to be called Easy Bread. It's going to take about six cups of flour. But I'm going to cut mine down. I'm going to try to. It's a lot of flour. And I'll share the site that I'm on. Come on. All right. So I'm going to take five cups of three, five Three cups of flour. This is self rinse. Okay. So we're going to, of course, we're going to still add a little salt. And a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking soda. And then I need to add milk. I'm going to do about a cup of milk, but I'm going to make it into buttermilk. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of vinegar to it. Looking for everything. <laughs> Put too much out. So that's a teaspoon of vinegar in my milk. I'm going to add a, about a third cup of sugar. The sugar always helps with flavor. And I'm going to use my milk. If it's not enough milk, you can always add more or less. Depends on how dense you want your bread to be. I mean, quick bread, when you make quick bread, um, it doesn't have to. Proof doesn't have to sit to rise, and it's a little bit more like a cake consistency, like when you make banana bread. And I'm gonna add a little bit more milk to that. Want to consistent with the buttermilk flavor. Okay. Now, Still too thick. I'll need just a little bit thinner. So that's going to be about, so far I've got a cup and a half of milk, two, three cups of flour. And that's all purpose. I mean, I'm um, self raising. Now it's getting more like that banana bread consistency. And it's not real thick, it's just kind of like a paste. And 
And I will tell you that if you play with it too much, it will cause it to go flat. So they call it a cast iron bread, I guess, in a sense. So, um, And then season it really well. You can add flavor to this if you wanted to do like garlic and herbs or onions or whatever. You could add flavor, more flavor to this if you're wanting more like a dinner roll type something for dinner. And all you do is just put it in just like a cake. And you just let it just let it cook on. I've got it on 350 right now, probably turn it up a little bit. Probably about 375. I'm going to keep it at 350. About 30, 40 minutes. So it's golden brown, just like a, a biscuit. You can do biscuit the same way. And I just want to smooth it out a little bit. Don't want to play with it too much. And that was about a, three cups to. I have one and a half cups of milk. <laughs> 